Welcome to Secrets of the Archives. I'm your host, Tim Johnson. Cradled in front of me is a very interesting book from 1671, the Midwives book. It's found in the Wangenstein Historical Library of Biology and Medicine, and here to tell us something about this book is the curator, Lois Hendrickson. Welcome, Lois. Thank you, Tim. So what are we looking at here? Well, what we're looking at here is a book written by a woman, Jane Sharp, as you said, in the 17th century, the first book written in English by a woman for other women. And there's a use of illustration, and uh, what else is going on in the book? What, what is she writing about, talking about? Uh, well, her book is, it has two illustrations. Um, the first one illustrating the position of a uh, fetus in the womb. And she's talking about in her book all the stages that uh, go around uh, birth. So pregnancy, labor, childbirth, and infant care, among other things. She's also uh, talking about her lived experience as a midwife for over 30 years and sort of mirroring that with some of the classics, um, Galen, uh, Hippocrates, Aristotle, and what traditional conventional medical theory was at the time. Unusual for a woman to write in a man's World? Really unusual for a woman to write in a man's world. Um, the medical marketplace, uh, as you might call it at this time period, consisted of physicians, uh, barber surgeons who did surgery, and apothecaries. Um, women who did about 98% of the deliveries were outside of this sphere, although they had a large sphere of influence. Mm. How would a researcher approach a work like this? How might they use it? Well, researchers have used this work uh, to write about um, intersections of religion and theology in this time period. Uh, Sharp uh, kind of contests some of the traditional thinking about children born with a deformity or disability, for example. Uh, scholars also use it to really think about uh, what's the role of women in early modern period. So what do they do? What do they make? What do they write? And uh, so there's a lot of work around gender studies. Mm. And the context for this work, what else is going on in the world at this time? Well, uh, this is the period of the English Civil War. So there's um, people that are thinking about the Protestant Revolution. They think that Jane Sharp was a Protestant because of the way she refers to God in this. But other scientists are really changing the way science is done. It's sort of the beginning of the scientific revolution. So you have Newton, for example, writing his Principia. And you have Milton writing Paradise Lost, all within a few years of 1671 when Sharp wrote this. Well, thank you for sharing this uh, very interesting 17th century uh, call the midwife. You're welcome. And until next time, I'm Tim Johnson for Secrets of the Archives.